uh, hi everyone let's talk about next 50 question in this video so it's going to be a little lengthy okay so here is our function passing member object we are uh, updating the name property and here we have a person object and birth here and we are calling get info method with that and we are printing name and birth here so you can see that javascript is called by value and called by reference when you are passing an object you can actually change it and it will change the original object until unless you are actually not doing some immutable stuff in the function so you are actually updating the name property there in this member object so name property but the value property is still the same because we are not changing it so birth here is still 1997 so its output should be a for this which is correct now coming to this here we are actually throwing an exception from the greeting function we are calling greeting so it will not print this because it will directly go to the catch block and we will get this message and this error is whatever we are throwing from here we are, it's it's a simple string it can be simple object also so it should be simple d that should be correct yeah here it's little interesting and we can talk about it here so what should be the output here if uh, we simply talk about what is because it's a constructor function and we are creating the object right my car and we are creating the object so i will just place it to five yeah so we are creating the object from the constructor function and we are trying to access the cake pro uh, make property right so whatever is this function is returning that this object will represent so if you just try to see uh, console.log or if you just try to print my car 5 you can see it is pointing to what this function is returning not now if you just change this function and do not return anything and try to change it to 6 and try to see this property then it will be different right because now in this case it is actually pointing to whatever you define in the function you whatever you bind to the this object okay here we are not we actually bind something but we are also returning something so the object will represent whatever you are returning from the function okay that is the difference here so it will be whatever you are returning from here b coming to this so y is 10 that is correct so type of y should be a number and x is undefined so it should be a undefined number so this is actually short end of this y is 10 action y is this so y is equal to 10 we actually add a property y uh, which is getting added to the window object and so when we split this it look like this and let x equal to y okay so whenever we are actually doing a type of then we will get this output and define a number okay so here we have class dog which is a function we added a prototype property we created an object and we are calling this mark function so it will just print this this will work fine now we are actually deleting the prototype properties and calling this again then actually we can actually delete a property on we can also delete a prototype property which is bark from the dog function so now bark is not available so it should be a type error it should be a coming to this new set is the new data structure added in es6 it will remove the it will have only unique values so we should get only one two three four right now coming to this here we are actually talking about ES6 modules. You have one file importing this counter into another file and trying to update it. First of all, whatever the imports you do from one file, those are static imports. Those are read-only imports. Sorry, you can't change them. So it will be an, an, an error directly. Okay, so here we have a const and a simple property. So I just gone through this. I This is also new for me like you can't delete a const property so it will actually return false second will be a true because you are able to delete the age property so it should be a false and true here what we are doing is it's an example of destructuring 
we have the numbers we are assigning these numbers to the number so y will points to the first number so if you do y comma dot 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 rest then rest will points to the remaining elements as an array so here y will be simple points to the one so c what is the output of this it's a simple example of merge object i think we have a triple dot user and admin we are printing this so it should be a simple merge of the object admin true and rest is the user object so b okay coming to this so in object we have a lot of methods object dot create object dot freeze object dot seal object dot uh, create define property object dot define properties this is just a way to extend uh, or add a new property in an object you can also define other things in uh, writable configurable enumerable properties by default all the property will be enumerable as a false so whenever you are actually doing object dot keys uh, there you will not be able to get the key because object dot keys only return only those indexes or those keys which are enumerable in the object so it will print only the name and rest person object is obviously having two properties so answer should be b now coming to this uh, we have an object and we are doing json.stringify so these are two things json.stringify and json.parse this is i think uh, one custom logic like you are passing an object and you are trying to stringify only two properties of this object then it's only will take only two properties level and health so it should be a this we rarely use this uh, kind of logic inside a stringify we always pass a simple object but you can also specify what properties you want to include okay now coming to this increase number it's a post increment okay increase number you are assigning so number will still be 10 because it's a post increment now you are passing the same 10 value here okay i'm passing 10 it's again a post increment so it will still be 10 okay this is tricky but num1 and num2 will be 10 only i think because we are printing num1 and num2 we are passing num1 is still 10 okay 10 10 okay value is a number multiply here we are passing x and we are spreading value y so if you are not passing any argument like in these two invocations then it will default to this spread spread of the object which is number is 10 so first two iterations it will be 20 20 and then you are passing value which is default a value always i mean either you pass the value or not then it will still show the same results 20 20 20 20 and uh, 40 so x x dot number equal to x dot number equal to so here we are actually assigning you can see x dot number equal to multiply by 20 so in the second iteration x dot number will become 20 so it will be 20 20 and 40 for the last iteration last call it would become 40 because now x dot number will become 20 so answer is c reduce an important thing because reduce returns a single value but here we are doing console.log so x is an accumulator y is the first iteration so x is 1 y is 2 then for next iteration i think uh, whatever we are getting the output from the function that will become the input right and y will be 3 because this is accumulator so it is undefined and then 3 and then again it is undefined because console.log returns nothing so it will be undefined and 4 answer will be d okay with which constructor we can successfully extend dog we already know like dog has a name property so what we can do is we can extend it in by another class class laborer labrador extends dog so we are passing two properties so we should call the upper class constructor first so that matches with i think two here we are assigning size size is a property of labrador name is a property of dog class so answer should be two this is not correct because name we are not taking as an input so answer is two coming to this 
console.log running index.js we are getting sum from sum.js and we are doing console.log sum12 it should be simple 1 and 2 will be 3 running index.js uh, I think B yes that is correct running sum running sum.js because we are importing this first then okay let's say this why the answer is B running sum.js then running index.js and then 3 because what we are doing is we are executing I think uh, index.js so it should be running sum.js running index. A little bit confused why it is like this because console.log can print index.js first but we are getting running sum.js then index.js then the summation of it okay what is the output number two these are like uh, objects so not equals false 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 and these are falsy so it can be true false true false symbols will never be equal so the last one is false so it is like false true false sorry true true false number two okay let's check this out what we are getting it's better to clear our doubts okay number of two okay it is giving numeric two so obviously it will equal to another number similarly if we do boolean of true it should give true but symbols will always not equals to the same symbol so that is true true false let's keep this open just for debugging okay uh, this is for pad start so I mean we, we can just try this because I'm not sure what pad start uh, do it's like ES7 we added this method which just do some manipulation on the string so it actually adding a space because the length of this is 12 space this and then pad start to so we are starting from 2 so the output should be white space this output should be C a space and then this okay what should be the output it should be simple concatenation because these are like considered as ASCII characters A yeah, coming to this how can we log the values that are commented out after the console.log statement okay do you love JavaScript so what we can do is we can actually gen dot next because it is yielding the value so when we do the game dot next we should be able to get it gen dot next dot value and second one is we have to pass the answer if answer is yes from the first yield then okay it should be C so that we can get the second condition true let me close this so it's more clear string dot row uh, I read this somewhere so whenever you use raw then these will stop working the slash n slash t characters so it will give you the same string c promise dot resolve I made it it's async await right async function you are doing await but while calling this function you are not putting await it means it is returning a simple promise which is a pending so output should be c okay coming to this uh, add to do list list dot push right so whenever we do the push it doesn't return the array it actually return the index list dot push add to do list okay it will give the number so it will just give us the number which should be 2 object dot freeze object dot freeze is actually freeze the properties so you cannot write it them again okay so whenever you try to modify it we will get reference errors okay test we will cover in the next video thanks everyone